62-year-old Todd Dunlap has been battling melanoma for the past 10 years, but recently Todd faced yet another life-threatening medical crisis. A CAT scan revealed a fast-growing two-foot-long blood clot forming in Todd's leg that had migrated into his heart. In ER, when they did um, a scan, they came and told us that that was the largest blood clot they had ever seen. This was a life and death situation. Like Todd, about one in 500 Americans suffers from these potentially deadly blood clots in the leg called deep vein thrombosis. Nearly 100,000 Americans will die from the condition each year. The risk is, number one, that it's there in the heart and can cause trouble, but number two, that it could move. And if it moved, it would move to the lungs and could kill you instantly. Todd was faced with two options. The first, open heart surgery. Major open heart surgery, which would involve a, a surgeon opening the chest opening the heart from there, stopping it, removing the clot, restarting the heart, and then closing the chest. The other option was a new procedure done in an interventional radiology catheterization lab like this one with an angiovac. Doctors would literally vacuum the clot out. What it involves is putting a large tube into the blood vessels, and you put one in the groin and one up in the neck. And then carefully, under lots of guidance, you thread these tubes down into the heart while it's still beating. So that's one of the benefits is that you don't have to stop the heart. And then while it's still beating, then we were able to place these tubes onto where all this clot was within the heart. And then under careful guidance, we were then able to essentially suck it all out. And it gets sucked out and it goes into a filter which gets rid of the bad stuff, all the clot, and keeps all the blood that is then pumped back into the body so that the patient doesn't need to have blood transfusions or anything like that. Dr. Moriarty came in and he said the procedure went well and then he got a big smile and he said the procedure went really well. The procedure took three hours to complete and Todd was home in a week. I think I'm very lucky to live in an age where we have this type of technology. Yeah, very fortunate to be alive today. I think it's going to be a big game changer for people who have a lot of clot uh, or have clot in very dangerous locations like in the heart or lungs. That people who previously would have either had to have open surgery or perhaps not any treatment and would have died of their of their condition are now going to have this other option. Todd is now regaining his strength, an avid hiker, volleyball player, skier, and now grandfather to his new grandson. Todd is looking forward to some of the best years of his life. This is a procedure that has never been done before in California and uh, with the help of our kind of big multidisciplinary team here of interventionists and surgeons and anesthesiologists, we were very fortunate to be able to do the first successful one in this part of the country. It's given me a new life, yes. I mean, this procedure in my stay here at this great medical center uh, has saved my life.